The CPL ended its fifth year and two countries, Trinidad and Tobago and St. Kitts and Nevis have hosted the four finals. However, with the fixtures being released recently, there are speculations as to who will host the fifth final. In explaining the process, Chief Executive Officer Damien O'Donoghue told this newscast earlier today that government support is extremely crucial in the tender process. It's a Caribbean product. We absolutely want to see the finals in in the Caribbean. But, you know, it's it, it just goes back to your point that at the end of the day, Pete and I have to, a board to answer to and we and we have to try and balance the books. So government support on, on the finals deal is is really important. Um, but there is obviously a lot of international interest because people see how far the league has grown in, in a very short space of time. The organizers are poised a question as to where the final could be possibly played. Chief Operation Officer Pete Russell revealed that the usual suspects are involved in that process. We're in the last throes of, of of making decisions on that, I think uh, um, you know it, it's never an easy decision, and it's one that you know, we have to work closely with government to, to make sure that the checks and balances and their investment uh, is obviously um, they get a return on that. So, look, I think we're reasonably close. Um, look, it's the usual suspects that are interested, and in, as we alluded to last time, you know you've got a lot of international interest, not just from Singapore but Middle East now as well. So, um, so there's, there's there's plenty of interest. It is also revealed that CPL does not put a figure to host in the finals, but rather tender process is done via an economic study, with some revelations last year positing that US $3.5 million is usually the number to host the final. Commenting if Ghana fits into that economic realm, the CEO responded in affirmative. From a, a fan base, from a, a, um, a stadium base, and also in terms of you know, facilities, uh, you know, like the, the, the hotels, etc. Of course it is. So, you know, our, our, at some point, we're very hopeful that the finals will be in Guyana. I mean, mm. you know, we're very lucky to have, you know, El Dorado is one of our big partners. So, you know, at some at some point, that's that's the dream. And, you know, I think we're all sort of, we always have conversations and we, we always work, work towards that. But mm. um, I can't be any more specific than that, really. The fifth edition of the league runs from August 4 to September 9, and the Guyana Amazon Warriors will have four home matches from August 17th to the 22nd.